Go ahead. All right. So, when you receive your oven, you're going to get your shelving unit. Shelves here are packed up, and it'll have the feet that fit in the bottom of the oven. Mm -hmm. You can easily just tip it up and screw the feet in and use them to level the oven. And then you can unwrap your shelves. And I happen to have my test shelves here, so we don't have to go through that process. It would so be open the oven. This would be a great cooking shell. We you will see we the bottom shelf has a clip on it. This it's very important that this clip goes over the temperature probe in the bottom to make sure you have proper uniformity. So sometimes it's a little tricky. So it's easiest to get down low and look. Sometimes you can push on the bottom back of the clip and just push it in there and line it up. And like I said, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. There we go. It slides right in okay. and it attaches. And we have two more shelves. If there's a little notch provided in the back if you're running wires or anything to help you get them That's up nice. and down through the shelves. And these just sit on top of each other. Great. Now you, you don't have to run the oven with these two shelves in, if you'd like, but you need to leave the bottom shelf in so that the probe is handled appropriately. Well, also, aren't there heaters that will make the bottom of the oven very hot and fry your and part? And the bottom of the oven will be very hot, so yeah. you need this bottom shelf to shield your parts from the heat of the wall. But important, most importantly is that the probe is, a, is attached okay. to the shelf so that the temperature inside the oven is controlled by the temperature of the shelf. Great. Thanks, Dan. And make always make sure that your seal is fully installed. Great. There you are.